Our planet is struggling with climate change and developing countries will be affected the most. The good news is that innovative solutions exist to face the challenges in front of us. Now we need to implement and scale them. That's why the G-Stick Climate Action Programme was launched, a project call funded by the Government of Flanders. The programme accelerates innovation in countries most at risk, from renewable energy, sustainable water management to climate resilient food systems. Let's discover one of the impactful stories. One of the challenges we have is whomever is connected with the, the national grid, there are always power cuts. You can't actually do commercial farming. Uh, even the irrigation of the crops is a challenge. In Kenya, we've got four kinds of energy generations. We've got solar, wind, diesel, which is mostly used, and hydro. We've got so much failure in the hydropower plants that they always predominantly rely on diesel. We actually started looking for companies that we can partner with. Government have come up with a nano river system that is efficient for low head sites. We've got less environmental damage during construction because it actually takes a small uh, area to install the turbine and we don't have any carbon emissions. I'm John Monumendumia. I work for a company called Hydrobox Kenya. It's a Belgian-Kenyan company. We find that if there are any power cuts, they go up to even a week or two weeks. I'm Meshak Mwangi. I'm the deputy head teacher in this school. Sometimes we used to stall. There are things we couldn't do, like uh, the, the, the tablet we were given by the government some time ago. We just put them aside. When it's a bit misty and the rooms were very dark, they could do nothing. We could tell the pupils to sleep on their desk because they could not read. First of all, you have no, uh, had no power failure from uh, their side. I've taken my pupils there sometimes back when we were constructing that one so they can uh, uh, attest to the same that it is clean uh, energy. Uh, currently, we are developing one that we intend to connect to our small mini-grid called Kiyama Hindu Hydropower Station. I'm Walter Buidens and I'm the CEO of Turbulent since June 2021. We use the power of the water. What we need is a medium flow, size flow, let's say one to four cubic meters per second. We need, of course, a difference in height. Typically, it's one and a half meters to four meters. So the idea behind this is to divert water from the river, from its main course, into this canal and should flow to the first turbine, yeah? And we actually control the flow of the water by a vortex. So we do create a whirlpool, which makes our blades turn which generates electricity. If you look at the flow right now, it's about 1.8 meters cubic per second. This is ideal for this kind of a turbine. We can place it near close to towns and villages. This combination of the, the three turbines in, in series, uh, we have something like 111 kilowatt as power. We can provide 400 households with electricity. Right now, people are using diesel instead of green or other energy when they are off-grid. 111 kilowatt with diesel, that is between 900 and 1,000 tons of CO2 exhaust per year. So I think it's a great thing if we can displace this diesel generator energy by our turbine. We keep the biodiversity as it is. Fish can freely flow through the turbine. We save a lot of space. If we look at one of our turbines, which is five meters in diameter, you would need a whole soccer field of solar panels to generate the same amount of energy. We actually have just a river diversion. We don't have these big water diversion structures like dam, dam walls. In big hydropower projects, you actually find it at 50, 60 meters high. So we've got a lot of land that has been destroyed due to this water storage. 
plants that we find in these dump storages decay, increasing the carbon and also carbon emissions. So for these kind of setups, we don't have that. With electrification of homes and businesses, you actually find that the revenue streams increase. I'm James Kibide. We deal with the manufacturing of tea. We receive crop only from the growers, uh, the reception beds. We enter the production. We are having so many down hours on KPLC. Uh, we had the generator. So we would run for the, the outage hours. The generator is diesel powered. We enjoy no, that is consistent in supply of power. So I have no worry, anytime I can process and I can retain the same workforce. We've got water flowing 24-7. Uh, the biggest advantage is that we are able to provide power to our customers 24-7. Once we set it up, we actually do street lighting. It's part of our marketing strategy that when the national grid is off, our grid is always on and you can see it on. But then again, you find that there's reduced theft. You would see businesses close at around 6 p.m. But now they go up to even 10 or 11, just because of a, a simple thing as lighting or doing street lighting. And people feel more safer. You see these kind of changes and the improvements in homes. The sites, the interaction with the people. It's, it's always a pleasure to wake up in the morning and go to work.